Hello students, the first step will be to create a GitHub account. So let's go to github.com. Okay, if you don't have an account, create account in GitHub. I already have, so I'm gonna use my account. Mm, once you are able to create an account, select new and give the name as WCF dash lab one dash hello dash world. Keep the repo as public and click on add a readme file and cl click on create repository. The next step will be to clone that repository to your local computer. So go to the place where you created the repo and click on code and copy this URL. Okay. Next, go to your computer and to the folder where you want to keep all your WCF code. Mm, you need to install git bash. So I already have git bash here. I will write the command git clone and the repo hit enter. So you can see we have already cloned the repo on our local computer. Next we want to install Visual Studio community edition so we already have installed it on this computer but you can get it from microsoft and install it on your computer once you have installed community edition the next step will be to go on add-ons and install wcf wcf is not selected by default so you have to install wcf once you have installed wcf let's create our simple WCF application. So we open now Visual Studio. First step will be we will select create a new project and we will search here for WCF. You have to install WCF to get it. So we're going to choose this option WCF service application, a project for creating WS. CF service application that is hosted on IIS. So select click next. Now it asks for your project location. You have to put the same GitHub location what you created. So I am gonna put and select. We will name the project as hello world and we will click on create okay so now we have our application open so this is a WCF application which have the config file this is the project this is the interface and it has its references and properties so what we're gonna do now first we're gonna clean it up to make it little simple so if you see my interface iService1 has two methods we call as service contract has two operation contracts one is get data and the other one is get data using data contract uh, we will be coming on this later so for now i'm gonna delete this similarly the composite body i'm gonna delete it for now Okay, so we have an interface now. The interface has one method called get data. It takes some integer and gives us a string. Perfect. Now let's go to its implementation. Now this is service one which implements it. So since we deleted this method, we're gonna delete it here. So with this we have a simple WCF service the service has what the service has an interface 
the interface has one method called get data and the service has its implementation where user when they enter a value of integer it will give a message you entered the value whatever they gave now next step next we're gonna build the application so we click on the folder and click build if you see here the build is it's completed okay now we're gonna create a client application to access this method so we will click on the folder on the solution and right click and click on add and we select new project in the project we have to type here console make sure we choose the console app with dotnet framework and hit next and create so we have now a console app and we have our WCF service what we have to do we have to convert our console app to a starter project right click and choose set as starter project now we will link our console app with our WCF service so we go on references right click add service reference once we click on add service reference we have to click on discover look it has already found the service and we click on ok so we already have it now referenced perfect so we have now our uh, WCF service hello world and we have our client console app one so let's go connect our console app and call the service hello world so we will do what service reference one dot service one client let's name them as client e equal to new service reference one dot service client now we have very nice thing to do console dot write line mm, we will write where uh, response equal to client dot get data let's let's pass 100 as integer there and we will do what console console dot write line res and console dot read line perfect so so finally we're gonna run now and see if our application is connected to the service and works so we will use start without debugging and we run we can see you entered 100 this it is printing okay perfect so we all have now our wcf application if you see a running wcf application if we try to run we can see the results there so next step will be all our code program code we want to push to github so next we're going to push the code to github so you remember at the beginning we open a public repo so let's go on your computer to the place where you have the repo go inside it and now here you can do git bash perfect you can write now git add dash dash all then git commit dash a dash m g git push it so now your code has been pushed to github uh, you will be able to share with people anybody can execute it so this is all about how we create a simple wcf application how we connect to a client how we push the code to the repo uh, thank you for listening if you have any doubts just message it on the teams channel